Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we are explaining all three swords of Aster Swords like I said before and there is a fourth sword but we don't know anything about the details I hope we, I'll finally, I will explain it when we get all oh, what you could do with the sword and that basically it's going to replicate um, Aster's movements and abilities but with anti-magic basically but if you want me to do a prediction slash theory video about it, that fourth sword let me know down below in the comments right now also smash this like button if you knew also subscribe if you knew turn the bell notification if you knew because if you receive all my notifications when you turn all notifications work like this video and some future awesome videos that you will get in the future of this channel so let's get straight on the video sword is summoned out of a open grimoire inside which it is stored in the form of writing the user can easily summon the sword at will without consuming any magical power Hour. This is the Demon Slayer sword, and then we go to Demon Dweller and then Demon Destroyer. So this the sword takes the form of a massive great sword that is mostly covered in dirt and scuff marks. Blade and the hilt are separate from each other and connected by a futa. The hilt appears as a handle to a normal long sword. The blade is huge and has a pointed two, while the base is pointed in a ward, creating an a angle the sword is cape of cutting magic with his edges and reflecting them with its flats however when it is used to cut anything else it would be reduced to a blunt sword and it was a blunt to the trauma caused damage to a opponent although the tip of the sword is still sharp enough to create a cut wound the sword can remove mental enchantment by tapping the person in the head with this cross guard sword by moving Manipulating the anti magic with the sword, however, it can he can use fly the sword through the air. The user could also jump on and ride the sword. Now, that is the demon slayer sword, so I'll be explaining the demon dweller sword right now. The sword has a black markings on the blade and is mostly in dirt. The sword also has a heavy on tent held with a four sided guard, a grip with a spiral design as a spear for the a polym. The sword is capable of cutting magic with its edges and absorbing other powers, magic powers. However, when it is used to cut anything else, it is reduced to a blunt sword that uses the blunt trauma to inflict damage on a opponent after the sword has absorbed a certain amount of magical power. The black markings on it start to glow in with a color corresponding to the sword of magic aptitude. Like basically, if it absorbs a water type it will turn blue like you see in the dungeon art at the moment when the user swings the sword it unleashes a magical sword similar abortions as a sword magic aptitude or it is also capable of being filled with a anti-magic releasing flying slashes composed entirely of anti-magic energy another ability the sword possesses is connecting the wielder to their allies with this ability the wielder could draw magic power from their allies over a large distance or could transmit a magical information to their allies okay this is a demon destroyer sword so there's not much detail about it but I think we will get much detail about, about it basically when all the black clover ends I am um, or like the whole information about e either sword or every each sword I will explain it them fully detail on each sword so you can get a full potential and full understanding of each sword so let's get straight on the demon destroyer sword as well as cutting through magic and spells with its edges the sword has a special ability casualty break it absorbs and removes any effects or spells by serving the cause and effect relationship the sword emits tendrils of anti-magic that touches those affected by your magic and then draw back into the sword turning the blade black since the ability is affected casualty there's trendles negative gate not only the magic but also its effect such as the tissue damage caused by a magical power the other anti-magic weapons are unable to do this and affect only active magic this ability is even strong enough to negate reincarnation magic so i think this is like the sword potential can re like negate curses as well as i think that is like the potential that will happen 
mine in the future because I don't see any other sword, especially the fourth sword what revealed in the manga that I don't see it negating curses. We need a sword or I need like a one of these out of these four can actually negate curses and then the top potential and the top pick is the demon destroyer sword. So I think this future, in the future, this sword will negate curses and it'll be a big help for him and the squad mates and the clover kingdom. So that is the three swords that is explained right here. There is not that much details about them but when the full potential comes out on each sword and every information about it, I will do a deep dive on each sword and fully explain it for you guys. If you're new around here, make sure you like, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so you never miss a video. Also, join my Discord link in the description. Also, follow my social media link in the description, my Twitter, my Instagram. Link in the description as always. And thank you for watching. See you later and peace out, guys.